today I want to talk about how to get a film-like color to your pictures without um, using Visco presets or um, Replichrome or any of the other ones. So the thing we're after is kind of that pinkish orange skin tone. Um, the reds are a little bit more orangey. Um, the greens have a lot more blue in them. There's a little bit of a yellowy green tint usually in the shadows. Um, so this was the picture before and then um, there's the picture after. So I'm just going to run through the different settings that I did. Uh, so we started here where I just bumped up the exposure to the picture from that to 55. And from there I started adjusting the white balance with the temperature going a little bit warmer since the picture we were actually shooting just as the sun was going down. We couldn't get there any sooner. And um, so I've got to cancel out kind of that ruddy look that the picture started with. And then to um, balance the yellow, we added some pink to the color balance. If you're not really comfortable doing color um, white balancing, you can take the um, custom tool if you have some neutral colors in your picture and you can start there. I don't usually get the best results with that as you can see on the top preview uh, right here. You kind of, it kind of ends up all over the place. Um, another thing you can do is open a picture that has, um, that was shot with film that you're trying to emulate and kind of use that as a reference. Um, we did a profile correction for the camera just to take out um, any lens vignetting and distortion. And from there, um, I really like to mess with the camera calibration. And like I said, the colors in film are slightly different. So um, we started by moving this over, which adds more yellow to the reds. And then... You go back really quick. So then from there we messed with the green slider. We took that over to add more blue and then I bumped the red over a little bit more as I was kind of adjusting things and took it down a little bit. We uh, brought the highlights down just a little bit to even out the picture and brought the shadows up and then in the mid-tones is where I gave the bump. So um, you kind of get this little Z effect with your tone curve. Um, I don't know if that's the right way. That's how I do it when I'm trying to emulate film is make sure the highlights aren't too bright and the shadows aren't too dark and then add the contrast right in the mid-tones because film always seems to have that really nice um, low contrast and wide range for your highlights and low lights. So that kind of gets you there. And then on the black clipping, you can bring your black slider back a little bit just to add a little bit more contrast in there. And then shadows, I lifted them a little bit more. Um, I adjusted the temperature uh, right here with the white balance a little bit more. You'll see the change. And just to kind of take away some of that warmth and start to get a little bit cooler there. Um, the orange in her skin was still off for me, so I played with the hue saturation right here by changing the orange hue. You can see it here. We moved the slide over to nine and we moved the red over to give it um, a different, more blue toning in the reds. And then the red luminance we brought, we'll click over here, we brought that down a little bit because the reds always seem to be a little bit more darker in film from what I've noticed and we brought the saturation up just a little bit and shadow tint is right right here that's a really great way to change the coloring in like the browns and the dark areas it's in the cal camera calibration so we just moved it over to the greens a little bit right there um, I lowered the contrast a little bit more and then I started playing with the channel curves, which you can find right here. You can click through to blue, red, green, and RGB. It shows all of them at once. So we adjusted those a little bit. We can click through and you can see it kind of started pulling them around and looking. 
And for that, because your pictures are going to vary greatly, I really just recommend going through each of them and moving it around till it looks right. Again, using a picture that was shot with film as reference will really help you on that. So following my exact curve is not going to get you the same results for that. Um, so you do need to play with that on your own. Um, the greens were still not blue enough for me. The oranges weren't exactly right. So I went um, back into the hue and saturation here and moved the orange, green, and aqua. And you can see right there the greens got a lot more bluer. And then the other place you can affect that is here again. So I still didn't feel like it was right. So I moved the green, red, and blue again just a little bit more. And there you can see you're starting to get that pinker skin tone, the bluer greens. We're getting a lot closer. Um, I went back up to here to the hue and moved. Um, here I was playing with spot removal for a few different things and I cropped it in. And then the last few things I did was just the blur that I talked about. I added the blur in. Um, I played with the exposure a little bit more and um, did some final tweaks to the temperature of the picture just to warm it up a little bit and that is the final image. So if you guys are after the, the film look, I think the bottom line here is that every picture is going to be a little bit different, but getting this kind of Z curve here and lowering your contrast a bit and adding a little bit of punch uh, with your midtones, which is your lights and darks, using your blacks and white slider as well. And then... Um, you're usually going to want to go warmer on your white balance, so towards the yellow, towards the pink, and you're going to have to figure out what looks right for you. And then your camera calibration is a huge one, so just bringing over your reds and greens, and you can adjust them here as well in the hue, so kind of play with both areas because they both will affect the colors a little differently. You'll have to find the one that works best for you. Um, and luminance on your red should usually be down, red and green. So if you guys uh, play with the settings, uh, let me know what you come up with. I'd love to see how the results are for your pictures. Thanks for watching.